Hey everybody, this is the MOJ, and I just like to take a few minutes here to uh, do some commentary on a recent script my team had with you in. Um, as you can see here, I, I just went along with a few of my teammates and suicided so that our NG could have a little bit more metal to build his sentry nests while we wait for the blue team to emerge from their spawn. Um, that's a, a pretty good thing to, to do. Uh, my soldier's whipping me out now. Uh, I believe that he actually requested that I stay with him so that he could he could keep whipping me and get to get back to uh, the front a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, here we are um, in a little area our team calls Jenkins. Uh, our medic and heavy and I are gonna hold here. Our soldier moves is gonna span out a little bit, I think. I'm gonna go over and protect our sniper. Um, for now, I'm just waiting for the other team to uber in, uh, then I'm going to air blast them back and try to protect our sentry that way. I see the, the sniper's dot on our heavy, and I made sure to call that out for my teammates so they wouldn't take as much damage. Uh, I take the uber here because our heavy goes down. It's not very successful though, so we just kind of back up and keep our medic alive. So we can keep those heals going. I keep holding up here because it's really a pretty safe place to be. Uh, we get pissed on though, and we, we back off a little bit. Um, I, I don't know how much you know about Pyro, but you can't actually reflect any projectile like like you're in. And I probably should have done that there. All right now we're playing pretty conservative. Uh, I'm not looking for too many picks or anything like that. Looks like there's Spy is back at our spawn, so I know to keep an eye out for him, but I'm not necessarily in the immediate future. Uh, I saw a Scout coming up back there. I probably should have taken a look at him and thrown some flames on him, but it turned out that he was just a teammate. Uh, right now I drop down because their combo is coming up. Uh, I can get a quick flank up here. I force the pop. Well, Moose and I combine force the pop on them. So I just kind of drop down and look for the demo pick. I waffled a little bit here, but eventually I get the axe on him. That's a big pick. Um, I'm hurt. I back off and get health back and I move with our spy a little bit up to this bridge. I get a little bit overly excited here. And, okay, now I start to back off. Um, but I'm still hanging out on this flank for the time being. It's not a terrible place to be as a pyro, but um, then you run into a heavy like that. I really shouldn't have escaped here, to be honest. You know, I kind of threw some air blasts on people and just kind of threw some flames at that scout and got out, but I didn't really deserve to. But you know, you can use you have to use whatever you have at your disposal to try to make an escape like that. And air blast is a really good tool for that. Just make it so that they don't have an angle to shoot you. Uh, now I'm just kind of hanging out, playing conservatively, watching our NG, watching our medics back making sure that that doesn't go down. I go up and spray some frames, flames at the front to try to back anybody off, because nobody really wants to fight a pyro. Um, so I head back to the sentry. Uh, just flaming around, making sure no spies are approaching. I see this uh, spy who was actually a scout at the time. You don't see that because this is a Source TV demo. But um, I'm going to get him. Uh, I don't end up getting any kill on him or anything, but call him out, and my team takes him down. Uh, right now, I'm flanking pretty hard. Uh, the NG comes up behind me, the pyro's on me. This is kind of a poor play I make here. I shouldn't have headed for this edge, uh, knowing that the pyro was on my heels. So what I should have probably done is either just run straight back up out of the tunnel, or took a, taken a sharp turn on to that staircase uh, to go on a bridge over the main area and tunnel to get out. But instead, I chased the kill on the NG, and I went down. Stupidly. Um. So, let's back somewhere else. I'm back in the now. Another important part of playing Pyro is, or playing any class really, is that when when you're down, you should be uh, specking people, looking for the, the other team's spy, and trying to make calls for your team because because you suddenly have the ability to uh, see basically from anybody's point of view. Oh shoot, I'm already back up. <laughs> anyway, 
Come back to this. I'm hanging out by the sentry, doing the normal old thing on this part of the map. Uh, this is kind of an awkward place to be, though, because it's pretty easy to be spammed out. Um, our spy comes in, they uber in, but our sentry just just takes a dump on them. So that works out alright. Sentry goes down anyway because of spam. Uh, we're kind of scrambling to back up a little bit here. It wasn't a very good retreat. Uh, we end up we end up wiping out most of the team on the cart, but this pyro just manages to push across anyway. That's okay though, because we still have a pretty good forward hold, and uh, it's looking like things are going to be alright for a little while. We can get a little bit of extra time on this point, even though they've already capped it. And of course, everything, every single second of delay that you can cause counts and goes a long way in stopwatch. Uh, looks like they're coming in, they're spamming out our sentry again. Uh, I'm a little bit inclined to just start to back out on my own and, and just get out of there. But it doesn't look like my team is, so I. It looks like things have cleared up. Uh, at least that's what I'm hearing in comms, so I go back and look for a quick flank. I see their medic, I see their scout. I think the scout might have seen me, but I don't really know. Um, I, Spy needs some help here, so I put him out. I think I end up stuck. Yeah, I, they just say, you know, there's a pyro behind us, it's okay, whatever, and leave me to be. Uh, so I, uh, I'm i kind of in a bad spot here because I can't do much to help my team while I'm back behind our lines. Um, I decide to look for a spawn camp and see if we can get an easy pick and keep somebody from getting out of there. But nobody on their team really goes down. Their soldier goes down here. I see that happen. I'm counting. I'm thinking about how someone will spawn. I hear the door open, and I uh, miss a flare, but I get the reflect kill on him anyway. Uh, right now, I'm a little bit uneasy about my position because I know that they know that I'm spawn camping now. So I go up on the bridge. I hear the spawn door open, so I jump down. Uh, he knows I'm there still. I back him off a little bit with my air blast and with some flames. I put some pressure on him, and I just run away. I should have probably killed him before I ran away, though. Um, right now I'm looking for a quick flank on their team. Let's see, I said back up. Uh, my spy is... Uh, I don't want to go with my spy because I don't want him to get called out because of me. And I just end up taking a, a rocket from the soldier. Uh, while attacking the NG. Which is why I probably should have just killed him before I, before I took off. Um... So anyway, so far I've played pretty conservatively, I haven't done a whole lot. Uh, I ended up stuck, in, stuck behind them and wasn't able to do much, but so far we've got a pretty respectable time going. 626 through 3 points is not bad at all. Um, I mean, we needed a pretty decent hole on this, on this last point, but it's a pretty good point to hold, so uh, we're not too worried. I go down to this area that... Uh, it's a really, really good place to be as a pyro because uh, you can hold on these staircases, you can uh, keep an eye on the flank, uh, you can drop down if you need to, there's a health pack, there's an ammo box down here. It's very, I mean, you probably shouldn't die down here, I think I do here though, but yeah, I die here. But I take their soldier with me. Not really a good trade. But I did secure the flank and I did... Uh, get my teammates down there to, to take it out, or keep an eye on it. Let's see. So while I'm down there, Spy gets our sentry, and that's why you don't take stupid deaths like fighting a soldier and trading with them down below. Things are looking pretty dire here. Uh, their, their combo comes in with Uber. I know that they're not going to be paying too much attention to underneath them, so I look for the quick flank here. They're paying no attention to me, so I kill their med. I air blasted her heavy into the pit, he kind of gets stuck, I air blasted her scout in, spy kind of whiffs on me or something, he falls in the pit, I uh, flare their heavy to get him out of that position, and uh, get about a 4k there, and that uh, that saved the, the day for the moment. Um, I got a lot of my team to get some spawns and regroup. Uh, they sent some stragglers in who uh, I think were taken care of pretty promptly just to try to get that last ditch effort push. And uh, so that didn't happen. We, we managed to repel that. And uh, now I'm hanging out with my medic, uh, keeping an eye out on things. Uh, I see the scout going underneath. I act like I don't see him, and then I go down and flare him to death. Uh, I think actually our demo got the pill on him there, and that was the final point. 
fighting NGs like that. Sometimes it's good to kill their mini sentry first, sometimes it's good to kill them first, but in that case I just went for them because I knew my spy was behind me and was able to take care of the sentry. Again I trade with the soldier on the flank uh, while waiting for that health pack to come up. And it doesn't work out well for me. So uh, I probably could have DM'd a little bit better there and landed uh, a couple more flares that I should have. Uh, but a lot of my team's down now. Uh, they got uh, pretty decent numbers, but I don't think they're going to push off of that quite yet. I mean, they'll push a little bit, but it's not going to be the final push. Engineer at the point, I chase him down and land a nice little flare there through those uh, through those little pillars. Uh, Pyro's on the cart, that's a little bit of a scary situation. I run in there and try to get some air blast on him, my scout takes care of him. I see their combo up there, I don't really want to fight them, I, I let my uh, teammates take care of that, because really that's not my strong suit as a Pyro. Uh, right now I'm going upstairs and looking for a flank on that demo man if he's still there, but Moose has got him. I like to stay with Moose if I can, and another big thing that I, do, that I, I think is pretty important to do, when you're on the flank like this, if you're with a teammate, you want your teammate to know that. You want them to know that they have your support and that you're there for them. So you should call that out to them and say, hey, you know, Moose, I've got you, or whatever. Now this combo's coming in, uh, Moose is above, spamming him out, I'm below, uh, putting damage on them. I run in, I just kind of W1 a little bit and cause a distraction, and uh, our team's able to really do a lot of damage to them there. That's, uh, we crits on them from behind, my flare ends up burning out that scout, and we just pretty much wipe them. So now we've kind of got a forward hold out in this yard, uh, soldiers bombing in, and our demo just annihilates him. <laughs> we all went pretty crazy in, uh, in Mumble there. I get a flare kill on their spy after he gets, I think, a stab on our sniper, possibly. Uh, I got a little bit overly excited about that air shot. <laughs> scout, butter knife to theirs. Uh, their spy, butter knife to scout. I force their soldier back a little bit. Um, we heard decloak. I see that spy, but I don't know why I don't do... Oh, our scout got him already, so I didn't have to worry about it. It's hard. It's The kill feed's not very effective in this... Uh, Source TV. Demo up here. I should win this fight, no problem. Yeah, I get him with the axe. Heavy's coming in, so I back up. I don't want to get killed by Heavy. I know I have Moose with me now, so we focus him down. Uh, our sniper ends up giving the kill on him. A little exchange of rockets there. Uh, Pyro and I were reflecting each other's soldiers. I go back down here, because this is you know my favorite place to be. Soldier's in. I get to reflect on him. I get the health pack, I uh, go up and I see that combo, and I call them out, and I back the fuck up. Don't want to deal with a combo like that, on my own especially. Uh, when you're facing a combo like that, uh, you're going to look for a flank, you're going to want to get in there, you're going to want to puff, you're going to want to hit them with a meat shot or a flare, and then you're going to want to axe them because you can do a ton of damage really, really quickly like that. Alright, I'm back on this flank. I, uh, we took out their demo man. Uh, hanging out with my scout, he's up top. I don't have his support for the time being. I see that our med's gone down. I probably should have been with him there. But um, about now is when he called me, or when he said, Hey, OJ, I, I need you to, uh, to be with me a little bit more. Uh, we have kind of a, an understanding worked out with that, where I'll be out doing my thing, and if he needs me, and if he's getting stabbed a little bit too much for his liking, then I'll, then I'll be on him spy checking more often. That's not something that's going to work with every team, but um, it works pretty well for us, because he's a he club's really solid at watching his back. Uh, so yeah, now that he's called me to be with him more often, I'm back on his back. There's demo crits us in. Uh, pretty much a shit on like three of us. They get our heavy, our soldier, and somebody else. I'm reflecting, I'm trying to keep people safe. Uh, I see the demos going for a med. I kind of missed that crouch jump, I think. That would have kept me safe from that heavy, and maybe allowed me to get the demo, and uh, they push it in. <laughs> Good try by Moose there. <laughs> so, a 1338's so a pretty good hold. We did a good job there on that last point. Uh, I almost had twice, had the same amount of time getting the last point, but took the meet the first three. 
Yeah, so now we're in spawn. Do our normal pre-game thing. Uh, I don't know. That's nice. Archimedes that Clep has there. He's a he's very proud of his collection. He owns every single uh, genuine medic item. Pretty exciting. Uh, you can see some of our planets' hats too. Uh, TR, we have uh, a whole lot of planets' hats. I think we all have planets' hats now. <laughs> Interesting how that looks. Let's see. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm checking for sticky traps. I'm looking to see where they are. At the beginning of last round, our spy actually hid over in the corner here and uh, cloak and dagger and got a medic pick really early. So I think that they're going to try to copy that because that's what teams tend to do. So uh, you see, I run down through this uh, place so I wouldn't normally go here and sure enough, uh, there he is and he's down. So we don't have to worry about their spy, we can push out without worrying about getting stabbed. Um, I'm just kind of waiting for a little entry pick here. Uh, we've lost our demo. Our NG and our soldier just got up. Uh, we've got a few picks in, so we're pushing now. Uh, kind of slowly, but uh, I'm getting a buff on Moose, and he's going to go bomb. We see that they've got a wrangled sentry looking at us. There's not a lot I can really do about that, so I go down to the little goalie here. And I get some time on the cart, and then I go see our spies fighting somebody on the flank. He's really just sniping somebody. And uh, I'm going to help him out. I see their demo up there. Um, we need some help on the cart. And uh, who doesn't like cap points? So uh, I'm getting on the cart. I'm capping. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that we stay strong here. So there's soldier palms in behind and gets our medic because I'm not paying enough attention. And our uh, heavy is far forward a little bit. Our heavy was dead. Um, a little bit of better communication there might have allowed me to uh, uh, to uh, get back there and be on him. Things happen pretty quickly, and it happens. The meds back up. I'm getting ready to push in. Spy checking. I'm looking for little flank routes where spies might go. Uh, just kind of just kind of doing my my thing. Okay, I see the heavy up here. I back down to the tunnel. I see sticks here. I really quickly air blast them, I was very scared for a moment there that I was going to get exploded. Go back to my bed, because I'm so shaken. Um, hang out with them for a little bit over here in Jenkin. Uh, we push up along this little pathway. We want to take the top so that we're able to uh, go through the uh, tunnel without getting spammed out once we get out, get through it. Uh, there's soldiers in. Uh, he gets crapped on by our, our heavy, I think. No, he doesn't. Uh, we all get spammed up by their heavy, and then their sniper shoots down like two of us. So uh, that's a little bit of a failed push, but our medic's still up, so we're all right. We have pretty good spawn times. Uh, another good thing about about playing offense on a on a PL map like this is that you uh, you can get aggressive. You can uh, throw your body at them if you really have to, because you're gonna get pretty quick spawns. Our medic whiffs a sp uh, stab there, and, or our, our spy whiffs a stab there, and uh, he gets killed pretty instantly. We uber onto the, onto the uh, hill, we're focusing down this heavy, he's gonna die, and he goes down. I'm chasing their medic in, I see the wrangled sentry and I back out quickly. I don't want to get killed by that. Uh, Inji's chasing me, he knows I'm hurt. I get on our med, that's okay. I see their soldier go through, I throw a flare at him. That might have hit if he didn't get killed before. Um, I know that I need to be watching that flank, because that's one of my personal favorite flanking spots. You see, uh, Gregor just stabbed Wes Mantooth, and uh, the first thing I did when I saw that was I asked Wes, uh, where's the spy? Uh, really basic, really important to do. You know, The better idea you have of where he is or where he's last been seen, the more likely you are to be able to shut him down. I light that guy on fire after he bombs in, and uh, he tries to jump away, but ends up just kind of getting uh, heavy down. They were the hill. Our heavy goes down early. Uh, see the heavy uh, kind of behind us. Uh, I put some damage on him. I see our scout fighting him. I put a flare on him, and our scout's able to get the finishing touch on him. I light the scout up. I see the soldier out here. I play pretty conservatively here. I'm not. I 
I see the sniper down there, so I'm backing up. I have 70 health. Uh, sounds like they still have a sentry up. Um, so I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm looking for heals. I don't want to die here for no reason. I try to uh, move out past the range of it. I see the spy on my NG. He gets a stab pretty quickly, but there wasn't a whole lot I could do there. But kill him. Um, there's a soldier standing on the cart. I see this as an opening. I push in. I kill. We. Uh, the spy and I kill the the soldier. And I get the cap. I push up behind them because I see that they're trapping themselves in the house a little bit. I see them push up here. They have an Uber ready. I can hear it. Uh, I call them out. I still call out that they're backing off. And uh, that way my team knows it's important. It's important to make those kinds of calls. Now uh, we have three on the cart, so there's no need for me to be there. So I push up and I start just kind of putting damage on people. I hit that heavy with a uh, crit flare there. Uh, call out the damage on him so that my teammates know. And so they might want to focus him down. Uh, now I'm just kind of hanging out behind my medic. Soldier's bombing in. I get an air shot reflect on him. Um... I see that they're ubered out here. They're not paying any attention to me because my combo's on them. Uh, they turn their hose on me and I uh, back up. This guy's gonna probably kill me here. Yeah, he gets me. Uh, their spy ends up going down in my flames, though. Wait, no, he doesn't. He just DR'd. Anyway, so I'm back up. Uh, we have seven and a half minutes left to cap, which is we beat them to the third point. Uh, we've got we've got a good amount of time to go, um, so we're pushing up. We want to get some time on that cart. We want to get people on there so it starts moving. Um, but we have to take this forward ground first. So they're still kind of holding the corner pretty well. Scus here, I burn him out. He's pretty lit already for my teammates putting damage on him. Alright, going upstairs. This is a good little flank route here. I can peek in, I can see what kind of sentry they have. I call it that level 2. And uh, I call it the position of their soldier, I think, who was back on that lead. I see a spy, I spy check him. Uh, here, going up the staircase. I see a spy on our sniper, I uh, get him. This is kind of stupid, but he goes down. A good spy would have capitalized on that lapse there and gotten a stab on me. I see their combo on the right, I see this demo, and I go after him because he's uh, an easier target, really. My target's not going to kill me instantly if I run at him. I see this sniper, I miss a flare on him, unfortunately. He goes, oh, yeah, he burns to death. There's a soldier and a pyro on me, I get air blasted into the pit. And that was not a very good le our way to die there. I kind of uh, I overextended and I took the death, but you can kind of do that on offense here. Because if you can find a good pick on um, maybe, you know, half of those or a third of those, then then it's worth it, I think. I see a spy, a spy check him. I see a scout here who's attacking our spy. I go and look for him, he's not down on the health pack. I uh, move him to the flank. See they're heavy up there? That's scary, he's spun up and ready to kill me very quickly. So I push around, I go upstairs, I see the scout. Our medic's on me, uh, I miss a flare because I have a terror bad. I flare him. I see their combo over here, I don't want to run straight into them. Oh, he's an Uber. Uh, I don't know if he got forced or what. Uh, we see the combo right there, ready to just crap on us. And uh, Gregor gets a stupid stab on me. That yeah, was... I don't I don't think that was planned that way. Anyway. Back up. I'm pushing up here. Spy is here. Uh, Mr. Flare. He's DR's. I flare him to death here.
hanging out by the, by our NG there. I just want to get some ammo. This is still, whether you're on offense or defense, this is a pretty decent place to hang out. Uh, right here, I peek up these stairs because their combo's been holding up here. I see their medic. My teammates say, go get him, go get him, go get him. And uh, I get him. The heavy gets me, but my teammates are with me. They take him down. And uh, we get a pretty significant uh, amount of picks there. And we go in and we start trying to push the card in. We really probably should have won right here. Um, those are the kinds of kinks we're still trying to work out in the preseason. We pop Uber on the cart because of their spy. Um, he's dying. And the heavy focuses me down. Our sniper goes in and tries to get it, but to no avail. Their heavy standing on the cart, not much you can do. So we uh, kind of blew it on that on that push there. Uh, I don't think we had people go down at the beginning of it necessarily, so I don't know why there weren't more people in on the cart. Um, it's got our, on our med on the flank. I uh, He's taken a bunch of damage already and I just slam him down. There's a spy right here who I miss. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I see their med. He goes down to our sniper. I see the sentry and I just kind of run into it and get killed. I was trying to circle strafe it, but it kind of trapped me between the uh, stairs and that little railing there. Alright, so... Let's see. Come to the telly. And back to the front. We, our engine did a really good job of keeping that telly up so that we could be constantly there, and so we could have a good supply of bodies. Using these under pathways is a really good way to uh, get on the flank. Alright, I hit this soldier. He falls in the death pit. But again, I trade with the soldier, and that's not... It's not a good trade. Although, to be honest, I, you know, I get up about, let's see, I got up about eight seconds before he did, so uh, on offense like this, it's a little bit better than if I was on defense. And we're just going to push it in here, I think. Yeah. So uh, we get that push. Uh, we finished pretty high up on, this, on the leaderboard there. I think I ended up with something like 33 kills in this one. Uh, so I think that was a little bit harder fragging than I normally do, even though I had a lot of really, really bad flare shots. <laughs> um, our team did a really, really good job of putting damage on people and on, uh, on calling those people out once they were damaged. And that's something that, I uh, it just kind of happens with time. Um, let's see... So yeah, uh, things I needed to work on in this one. I needed to, especially on defense, avoid trading with people like soldiers who don't really matter all that much on flanks. I needed to win those DM type fights because really that's my that's my specialty is the soldier v pyro kind of fight. Uh, I didn't do very well on that in this one. Let's see what else. I there were times when I needed to be on my medic more, but for the most part we worked that out, and it's a matter of. Uh, of him calling me back to him and uh, that kind of a thing. As far as strategy goes, uh, there were times when we needed to push a little bit stronger together, and uh, you know that kind of a thing. But I don't know. Hopefully, this has been informative for aspiring Highlander pyros and for uh, really anybody. I hope that uh, I have given use some good information to start with on what you need to be doing, and uh, I'll be making more videos in the future, so uh, if you can give me some feedback on what you'd like more of and what you'd like less of, I will happily uh, adapt. Alright, thanks a lot, this has been Yamoje. Um, oh, I play on te the team, uh, the regime. Uh, we got a pretty good, solid group of guys on there. We got Clep on Medic, uh, Will the Squirrel on Spy. MC Charger on demo, DM on NG, Moose from FXTV and Moose Tracks fame on Soldier, Rooks on Sniper, uh, Mid Comingo from Soldier or Heavy in this one. Uh, but normally we have a, a fellow named Fuck who is quite quite good on Heavy, and then we had West Mantooth Scouting, but with a you know, guy named Relic who plays that, and. Uh, so yeah, yeah, keep an eye out for us in Silver and UGC this season, and uh, again, thanks for watching.